हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू इंटीग्रेशन डेवलपर चैनल माय नेम इज़ वरुण कुमार हियर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट आई स्कीमा इन टिपको बी डब्ल्यू सिक्स सो बिफोर क्रिएटिंग द स्कीमा फ्रॉम स्क्रैच लेट अस नो व्हाट इज स्कीमा एंड व्हाई डू वी नीड टू क्रिएट इट एक्स एम स्कीमा that is known as xsd it is used to describe and validate the structure and the content of the xml data xml you know extensible markup language that is used for transportation of the data between one system to another system xml has basically three types simple type Com complex type and the global type that we will going to dis uh, discuss so what is xml xml is basically it is widely used in service oriented architecture okay. disparate system communicate with each other by exchanging xml messages and this exchange format is standardized in a xst okay so let us begin and how to create this schema and who create this schema it's basically in today's world one system cannot totally create all the web services on its one system it must be integrate with other system to exchange the data or to uh, complete the business okay nowadays there are xml is the format for transportation between the data between one system to another another system is widely used okay so let us uh, start from scratch okay so we will open so so before that uh, we are going to create basically the schema structure like below uh, student details will be the our root node and inside our student details we will have student id having data type int student name student role number student stream and also student details have the the field college and college has a repeating a structure that is that that's why we have marked as a strix so one student can be found in any of the college so see so like that college has also few fields college id college name and college location so basically college is the complex element what is complex element if inside one node if there are multiple element is found or multiple element can occur that node is called complex element and if the element is not be part of the any other element so that element is a simple element say let's say a student name is the simple element inside student name there is a no element is there okay and what is com global element and global element is the element is that can be referred to the other element so we have basically three types simple type complex type and global type elements okay so let us begin in our bw6 studio for creation of schema so we will just go and right click business box application module give the name as demo xst okay fine go to next next finish you can see there is a schema folder is created by default the usual structure for bw6 studio okay let it finish it will take few seconds perfect now right click new and xml schema on the schema folder here you can give the name as a student click on finish here you can see by default there are two sides in the left side elements in the right side types 
so first of all the first step of creating a schema is just write down all the elements in the left side okay so let us start so we have total how many uh, nodes how many elements one will say is one will say is two will say is three four five six let us give the name as seven eight and total nine okay so first is student details so let us begin so right click add element student details do not worry about the data type here initially all the data type will be string by default okay right click element student id perfect Okay, and one is college location. Fine. Next, we have to see uh, what are the data types we need to change. So, student ID is a in type. Okay, so we will change the data type now. So, just right click, set type, browse, and select as int. Okay, similarly, college ID. Okay, student roll number. Okay now in the right side we have to add the types for the complex element so as you can see here there are two complex element one is college having these three fields and one is student details having all the fields including the college so let us define for first college right click complex type and give the name as college type so that name uh, write the name in the very usual form okay so that you can relate each other which type of form type it is so college type will be having the college details and inside college type you can first how to add see we have already created the simple types okay now we need to refer our simple type here in the college type so how we will refer here so add in the sequence so first add sequence and then here write add element reference you can repoint we have inside the college what are the elements we have to write college id so just click here go to browse college id okay if by uh, in case if it is not coming from here you can point from here okay go to browse and you can point college id 
for print. Similarly, you can add element reference and point from college name. And similarly, college location. Okay. Now we have defined the college type. Have this. We have refer all the element here. Now to go back to the XML editor, schema editor, just click on this button. Okay. It will it will bring back to you this location uh, page. Now we have defined our college type. We have refer the college type of these three fields. So now what we have to do is in the college name you have to just tag your complex element okay it is it, it will not have the simple element it is a complex element so so you just need to tag it here so set type browse and choose as college type okay perfect so now you have embedded your college type a structure that you have defined later to here next thing you have to define this again the similar complex type student details give the name as type okay so here all similar uh, like college type we have defined we will add the first sequence and here we will add one by one in student details we will have first student id okay student name student name similarly a student roll number okay and we know that inside student details we have id name roll number as well as stream okay we have forgot to define this stream okay now so we will just go and we'll create this first uh, so go in you know to go back come here and define type as a student stream okay now again go to here add element reference as a student stream okay now you can see inside student details we have id name roll number stream as well as college and college have also id name and location so we already created the college so what we have to do is we need to just point our college type okay and the the type will be college type okay If it is not coming by default, you can click on browse and choose from here. Okay. So you can see the structure now. Inside student details, we have this structure and also college, and college has these structures. So now it is coming like that. Now in go back. Now one thing we have missed student details, we do not tag right now so like college type we have tagged in a college name similarly we have to tag the student detail okay one thing guy college name would be string only okay college has college types 
similarly student has student type so student details will be having the student details type perfect now if you will click here you can see student details type have digitals and college have digitals okay if now come to the schema structure again you can see college has repeating a structure okay it means it can occur one student can be occur in one college okay and co but college can be multiple okay uh, so let us do let us make it repeating so how to make it repeating so there is a concept here to add the type you can see minimum occurrence and maximum occurrence okay if you will select minimum occurrence zero it means it will occur it is optional if the college will not be there then it is fine it means and there is no tag of there is no complex element of college can be occur but we want there at, at least one college tag should be there and inside college there are three fields should be there okay and maximum occurrence which we want as unbounded it means it has no limit it can occur as many as okay so this is how we have created this our schema structure uh, hope you like this video uh, in the next video uh, we are, i am going to cover how to create regular schemas parsing schemas as well as the reference schemas in a better way also the choice schemas in the one schemas can contain multiple schema and in the based on the availability of the project and the requirement we can choose our the schemas thank you one more thing you can see here in the source this is the what we have created our the schema structure okay so this is how we are creating the schema from scratch hope you